Welcome to The Three Show, everybody. I am Vinny Paraselli. We've got a heck of a show for you this week. We've got everything. We've got advancements to the North American Hockey League. We've got commitments, including former NA3HL players making Division I commitments. We've got your February Players of the Month. It's the final weekend of the regular season for some, and for a handful of teams, the playoffs have begun. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into it. Peyton Hart of the Rochester Grizzlies has signed a tender with the Austin Bruins of the North American Hockey League. Hart is in his second season with the Grizzlies and has 14 goals and 38 points in 41 games a season. For his NA3HL career, the Wisconsin native has 28 goals and 74 points in 87 games. Caleb Strong of the Alexandria Blizzard has signed a tender with the Minnesota Wilderness. The forward from Alexandria has 8 goals and 26 points in 16 games a season. He played 17 games last year and had 7 goals and 11 points during that stretch. We've got some commitments. Matt Allen of the former Syracuse Stampede made his commitment to Division I. UMass Lowell, he played in 47 games back in the 2016-2017 season with Syracuse, scoring 24 goals and finishing with 54 points. This year, he's the leading scorer for Amarillo as he has 57 points in 52 games. Another former NA3HL player is going Division I. Matt Lenz, formerly of the Mid-Cities Junior Stars, is going to Mercyhurst University. The goaltender from Calgary played 13 games in the 2017-2018 season. He went 8-2 with a 2.20 goals against average, a 9.30 save percentage, and 5 shutouts. Connor Barter of the New England Stars will be playing his college hockey at Post University. From Lowell, Mass, Barter has played the last three seasons for the Stars, registering 69 goals and 62 assists to give him 131 career points in 128 games. He's been named to the top prospects tournament each of the past two seasons, where he has three goals in six games. His teammate Derek Flynn will be going to Southern New Hampshire University. Like Barter, Flynn is also in his third season with the Stars. He has 16 goals and 56 points on the season, and for his 128 game career, Flynn has scored 35 goals and 125 points. New Orleans' Michael Savakul has announced his commitment to Bethel University. From Albert Lee, Minnesota, Savakul is second on the steal with 60 points. In his two seasons with New Orleans, the four has 30 goals and 99 points. One last weekend for him to get that 100 point mark. The NA3HL has announced their players in the month for February. Your top forward is Brandon Connett of the Alexandria Blizzard. Connett led all skaters with 27 points, with 15 of them being goals. He had six multi point games and a stretch of four straight multi goal games. Trevor Christopher of the Skylands Kings is your defenseman of the month as he put up three goals and 12 assists to give him 15 points. He also had six multi-point games that included a five-game point streak that lasted from the 14th to the 22nd. Finally, the goaltender of the month was Raphael Goggin of the Northeast Generals. and netminder went 6-0, allowing just six goals over that span. For February, Goggin had a 138 goals against average and a 937 save percentage to go with one shutout. Coming up this weekend, we will try to sort out the Fraser Cup playoff picture. We've still got one spot still up for grabs, and the New England Knights are in the driver's seat. They have two games against the New England Stars, and a couple of wins will punch their ticket. Meanwhile, the Maine Wild are just two points back with two games to play. They go up against the Skylands Kings, who are trying to lock down first place in the Northeast Division. The team they are tied with, the Elmira Junior Soaring Eagles, played Danbury this weekend, and the Colonials still have an outside shot of winning the division as they are four points back of Elmira and Skylands. This will be one heck of a weekend out east, so stay tuned. Then in the Frontier Division, the playoffs begin tonight as we go from six teams to four this weekend. Helena snuck in on the final day of the season and will now take on Great Falls, who has won six of their last seven games. Yellowstone and Gillette get their series started tonight. Yellowstone is the higher seed, but has elected to have games two and three, if necessary, at home. So we'll open the series tonight in Gillette. We expect a very even series between these two clubs. Watch every game on Hockey TV or follow along on NA3HL.com for up to the minute scores and standings. Some playoffs begin this weekend, the rest begin next week, and we'll preview every matchup next week right here on The Three Show. Until then, thanks for watching. I'm Vinny Paraselli, and we'll see you next time. We'll <laughs>